Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. So, question from my friend Peter Gregg. We're getting some back and forth going on here. I asked Peter what his favorite Nikon lens is. And if you haven't checked that out, head on over to Peter Gregg's YouTube channel for his reply. That's Peter Gregg with two G's at the end, G-R-E-G-G. -G. I'll put a link down below in case you missed the first one. Uh, I put up a video asking Peter what his favorite Nikon lens is. So he has a reply up. And at the end of his reply, Peter wanted to know what my favorite Canon lens is. He asked uh, two-parter, my favorite Canon lens and the lens that's on my Canon camera the most. So, Peter, the my favorite Canon lens is the little Canon 50mm f1.8. Now, some people might think that's a strange pick because it's by no means the most expensive or the most elite of the Canon lenses. But the reason that this little 50 millimeter f1.8, this little gem, is my favorite Canon lens is, it's probably the best value in the entire Canon lineup. It's a little over a hundred bucks. I'm not sure what it's going for now. I know prices have been going up. It might be 140 or 150 bucks. But for 140 or 150 bucks, you get so much performance out of this lens. It's f1.8, very fast, very open, uh, wide aperture. So this lens is really good for people starting out to see what a, a, a wide aperture, what a fast lens like this can do for you at f1.8. Um, it's an amazing portrait lens on a uh, crop sensor, an APS-C body like the Canon 60D, the T3i, the T2i, the 7D. Um, so it'll give you really nice blown out backgrounds. It'll give you really good low light capabilities at f1.8 and all this for a very uh, low price. And it's very, very sharp. It's one of the sharpest lenses in the entire Canon lineup. So for the price, it's a super, super bargain. And I think uh, it's small, it's lightweight, it's cheap. If you happen to break it or lose it or drop it, yeah, you're upset because you, you, you damage your gear, but you're not out a whole bunch of money. So uh, for a total package, including price, that's why this is my favorite Canon lens. This is the Canon 50 millimeter. Um, now, I don't think this is an EFS lens because it's an older design. Um, it's a very uh, great lightweight, excellent performing lens. So part two of your question was what is on my Canon body the most? Well, that changes because it's actually my Sigma 17 to 50 F28 OS. Um, the new OS version of the Sigma 17 to 50 F28 um, smokes everything in this range in the Nikon and the Canon lens lineup. It's sharper, it's better performing, uh, it has image stabilization and it's a better price. Um, so if you look at the MTF charts on DxO Mark, you'll see this is an amazing lens. Um, so for the price and just for performance period, this is on my uh, Canon lenses or my Canon bodies the most. Now this won't work on a full frame body. So if you shoot a 5D, 5D Mark II or you know, 1DS Mark II, 1DS Mark III, something like that, it's not going to work for you. But any of the crop sensor bodies, APS-C bodies, 7D, 60D, T2i, T3i, perfect lens. Um, versatile, quite fast at f2.8 and sharp as all get out all the way through the range. And the OS works very well. Nice build quality. Um, it's an EX lens. So here in Canada, 10-year warranty on this baby. So that is what's on my Canon the most, basically for versatility. Um, really, really nice all-around lens. You could take that lens out, the 17 to 50. It's basically, what is that, about 24 to 70, give or take, on the um, when you factor in the crop. So basically, you can shoot just about everything with that, except if you need ultra-wide or, or super telephoto. But for instance, um, you know, if you're on most jobs, portraits, if you're um, at a wedding, you can pretty much do the whole thing with that if you know what you're doing. So anyways, Peter, there's my answer to your two-parter. And um, let's see, what questions should I throw back out at Peter? Um, Peter, what is your favorite 
DSLR camera of all time? Canon, Nikon, Pentax, Sony, whatever. What is your all-time favorite DSLR to date? And then I'm going to throw out part two to that. Um, what is your dream camera? What is the camera you're waiting for the most? And uh, is it one that we're, that we're expecting or is it something that um, you can give us the specs on and don't expect it out anytime soon? So uh, let us know the answer to that and uh, we'll be back soon folks with some new articles, some new video posts and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on here at the world of, in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com and uh, if you haven't signed up for our new VIP Art of the Image newsletter, I'll put the link below and uh, sign up for exclusive offers, uh, promotions from our partners and friends online and also uh, exclusive tips and reviews. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned to artoftheimage.com.